Yo, and hello, is this Baseball Collector? Well, hey, Mike, this is Scott over at Reindeer Studios. How are you, sir? Hey, I hear you kind of like Lou Gehrig. Yeah? Yeah, I got a sweet Lou Gehrig card I want to try to sell you. It's a limited edition 1985 Woolworths all-time record holder. Pretty awesome, right? What do you mean, not really? Okay, well, I'd like to get $500 for it. What are you laughing at? Okay, how about $75? You're still laughing. Okay, okay, $75, and I'll throw in a nice charcoal drawing. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. That sounds cool. You got yourself a deal, sir. All right, thanks, Mike. Hey, superstars, welcome back to the quest for my Holy Grail card. In case you have no idea what's going on, this is my series where I'm trying to sell off worthless cards for exorbitant amounts of money so that I can eventually buy my Grail card a T206 Cy Young portrait. But to make it work, I'm including some original art. This is episode 13, but it's not all unlucky because I get to do a really neat drawing today of Lucky Lou Gehrig. Mike, aka Baseball Collector, not only requested a cool player to draw, he wants it to look like a 1933 Gaudi bubblegum card. I think this might come out really neat. Of course, I'm recording this voiceover after the fact and I already know it came out really neat, but that's just between you and me, so don't tell anyone. Uh, now, the problem is that the Gaudi card is a painting of Lou Gehrig, and making art based on another piece of art is not really ideal. Fortunately, I was able to find the source photo for reference, which I believe is a Conlon photo, if I'm not mistaken, so that helps out tremendously. All right, do I want to talk about Baseball Collector or Lou Gehrig first? I'll talk about Mike first. It was about three years ago when I started watching baseball card YouTube videos and Mike was one of the very first channels I found. He's been around a long time, you know, and because he was one of the first and one of the first to interact with me a little bit, he sort of took on this ambassador role into this community for me. He's got a fantastic collection and he's been fantastic to me, always super supportive and super nice, so thank you, Mike. But enough about Mike, let's talk about Lou. I always felt like Lou Gehrig was sort of the middle child, you know? You had Babe Ruth before him, forever changing the game by popularizing the long ball. After Gehrig, you had Joe DiMaggio. Jolton Joe had his 56 game hitting streak and got to marry Marilyn Monroe. Enough said there. Uh, sure, Lou Gehrig had his 2,130 consecutive games played, but he's most famous for a disease. Even so, the Iron Horse is probably my favorite of the three. You know, if I had to pick a favorite Yankee anyway. Great, great ball player and seemed like a heck of a guy. Self-proclaimed luckiest guy on earth, you know? And he looks a lot like Alec Baldwin, so he's not too hard to draw. Hey, it's time for a terrible joke. I went to Yankee Stadium for the very first time this year, and I wanted a bottle of beer and a hot dog, you know? But the lady at the concession stand told me that they haven't been able to sell bottled beer in the stadium this whole season. And I said, why is that? And she said, yeah, we lost our opener. <laughs> There's the Iron Horse. I love it. It turned out really, really cool. We're getting closer and closer to that Cy Young card, and I'm having a great time getting there. I'm still not accepting any more commissions, but I really appreciate all of your support and patience. Uh, today, I consider myself the luckiest YouTuber on the face of the earth. Thanks, Mike, for asking me to do this one, and thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, yada, 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 and we'll catch you next time.